Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video about reactivity I want to show you what validate methods are. So in the previous video we created a very simple app, actually I didn't even create it, I just finalized it. We have a very simple app that has an input field and as you go along and type it updates a name greeting. Now what I want to show you is how you can do some validation on reactives. So I have this widget here, that's a name widget, and it has a reactive called who. And whenever who is updated, we see that the widget is re-rendered. Now what I want to show you is what we call a validate method. So this validate method is a method with a very specific name. So it starts with validate underscore and then the name of the reactive attribute. And this method, this validate method, is going to run automatically, Textual will call it for you, it's going to run automatically whenever who, the value of the attribute who is changed. And the parameter that this accepts is the new value, so the new who, which is going to be a string, and it returns a string. Now, this validate method, it doesn't, determine whether or not the new value is acceptable. This is more of a method that makes sure that the new value conforms to some restrictions you might have. For example, if this were a counter, maybe the validation method could clamp it between a minimum and a maximum value. Or maybe in this case, we can make sure that the value is properly capitalized. For example, so the first letter is uppercase and the other ones are lowercase, for example. And so if I run my if I run my application or if I type Rodrigo all lowercase, you can see that the validate method forced Rodrigo to have an uppercase R. Or if I do something like Rodrigo here, <clears throat> you can see that the casing is always respected. And so validate methods have this power. Again, they do not determine whether or not a change happens. There's always a change. The validate method has the chance of making sure that the new value conforms to some restrictions, but you cannot prevent it from, or there's no standard way of preventing the attribute from being changed. And so this was just a small example of what you can do, and this shows that this method runs automatically. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to, to leave a comment below or join our Discord server to get more help from more users. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.